What is up everybody, Monster Jam Fanatic here, back again with another Monster Jam video, and today I was looking through my more popular videos, and I was looking at my retired Monster Trucks video, if you guys have not seen them, one has 20,000 views, another has around 30,000, so I was looking at the comments, and I was noticing some trucks you guys thought were retired, but actually have not retired yet, and I wanted to make a top 10 trucks that a majority of people, now if you guys are big Monster Jam fans, congratulations, you probably know all these trucks in this video are still, all these trucks are still competing, but for the people who have not been keeping track of monster jam the past few years some of you guys may think these trucks are retired because they are not in monster jam anymore but some of these trucks most of these trucks are just simply an independent um tours they're just running in um you know little arenas that a lot of people aren't aware of so i'm here to address top 10 trucks that majority of you guys may not know still actually run so we're going to start off with number 10 right now so number 10 is higher education now higher education little do people know this truck still runs is driven by preston perez in the vodders tour with overkill evolution black stallion iron warrior this truck debuted in 2011 and ran in monster jam in 2012 so a lot of people thought the truck retired after it stopped running in monster jam but it just simply runs in independent shows i actually got to see this truck a couple years ago i still see this truck frequently but higher education is still around number nine medusa i actually did put this in my last two retired monster trucks video actually this truck has recently came back in international i think this truck performs in australia now by medusa um, herself, uh, she has came out of retirement, apparently. She actually did good this past weekend or a couple weekends ago in Medusa. She actually did a backflip. I'll show you a video right now. So Medusa is still around. Um, Medusa came out around the 1990, early 2000 range when the other WCW like wrestling truck came out, like Goldberg and all that. So Medusa is still around. She actually came back this year. So now you know. Number eight is Brutus. Now a lot of you guys know Brutus was competing around the 2001 to 2013 era by Chris Bergeron, part of Team Scream Racing, of course. But little do people know this truck actually still competes. I actually get a lot of questions on my retired Monster Trucks video asking why Brutus wasn't in the video and that's because it still competes it actually competes in monster truck throwdown so it's still pretty popular i get to see it a couple of times a year actually i went to monster truck throwdown brutus was there i went to a summer nationals near me as well last year and brutus was there as well so it still runs a lot in independent shows so yeah number seven is carolina crusher i also put this in my retired monster trucks video but this truck actually came out of retirement a lot of people know gary porter retired and after gary porter retired at the time that was the only driver for carolina crusher so the truck went into retirement as well because no one else was able to drive it but in 2019 it went into an altered ego of midnight rider and then it changed to a regular body style it was an updated body style as you can see here but it is now owned by mike harper on the uh, old big kahuna chassis so it's cool to see carolina crusher still compete it still competes almost every weekend in independent shows it's really cool still seeing carolina crusher up and competing and now for number seven it is king crunch this truck made a debut it's been around for a long time it made its debut back in 19 84 but in the monster Jam era for the early 2000s the big driver the original driver for it was david schmidt a lot of people think that it retired back in i don't know around 2017 or 16 we just haven't really heard much of it it still competes in independent shows but king crunch has always been one of my favorites one of my favorites growing up but some people actually think this truck is retired along with a lot of the other trucks i get comments about this truck on my retired mouse trucks video asking why this truck wasn't in the video and it actually still competes in quite a few monster gym shows i think it even made an appearance recently in anaheim but i could be wrong about that so don't quote me on that but so yes king crunch is still around number five is predator just like brutus this truck still runs in summer nationals i see this truck maybe once a year this truck made its debut it's been driven by alan pizzo the whole time it made its debut in 1988 one of the trucks that was in the first world finals ever back in 2000 this truck still competes last year it competed in the traxxas monster truck destruction tour this year is competing in the monster truck wars tournament so this truck is still around i should be seeing this truck once or twice this year so look out for videos later in the spring and summer maybe predator will be at that event number four is war wizard this truck debuted in 2003 the original driver was randy moore but after 2016 or 17 when randy moore retired um a lot of people thought the truck retired along with him but someone else took the reins of war wizard his name was rj turner they actually have an instagram and they still compete Pete, they actually have a new body scheme for it this year and here's the photo right here this truck looks awesome i've always liked war wizard i always like how it looks on the uh 41 really i really love this body style 
always been one of my favorite trucks and uh there is war wizard so if you thought war wizard is retired it is not we're now in the top three number three is backdraft this truck made its debut in 2000 driven by jeremy slipko i always remember um watching him and his dad in erratic hair on tv growing up um these two trucks were a couple of my favorite trucks not gonna lie especially backdraft i actually saw this white version of the backdraft in philly back in 2011 but in 2018 the new driver backdraft was paul brood and there hasn't been really anything updated since then on wiki but i do know that it still competes i have seen backdraft um racing in a couple independent shows along with uh monster patrol and all of them those trucks still run as well bigfoot in them backdraft is still around i know a lot of people think this truck is retired and there's not a lot of videos of this truck from the past couple years but trust me this truck still runs frequently as well now for number two even i thought this truck was retired when i made my retired moss trucks video but i got a couple comments actually saying that this truck is still around i looked into it more and this truck actually still runs starting in 2016 dave smith took uh, the reins of this truck and has been driving it the past few years on um, this truck debuted in 1995 i have the diecast version of it i always like that truck that and mopar magic those two trucks the two purple trucks i always remember those two i love those trucks so much and to see uh maniac still running i know i don't think mopar magic or monster magic still runs i remember those trucks as well those trucks are those two trucks are long gone even though they're basically the same trucks just different name that, that truck and maniac are two of my favorite a few of my favorite trucks all of these trucks bring back memories but it's cool to see maniac running as you can see it's it's running more of a black color truck and the purple is kind of gone it's still awesome truck nonetheless so if you want to know maniac still runs and now for number one here is number one mcgruff the crime dog now just like this truck backdraft and maniac i know there aren't a lot of videos from the past couple years of this truck competing but once again i have seen videos of this truck racing on instagram it does still compete and it says on wiki it still makes stops occasionally in phoenix arizona so this truck is not retired it doesn't compete that much it is still owned by rod wood the same guy has owned it for almost 20 years hasn't been changed to another driver or anything it's still driven by the same guy who created the truck but this truck truck is still running this truck is not retired technically yet now if you were seeing this video a long time after and it's been confirmed that this truck is retired don't come at me at this moment in time this truck is not retired but i know a lot of people have uh enjoyed this truck um in the uh, younger years of the like the early 2000s um i know a lot of people including myself when i first started getting into monster jam this was uh an awesome truck to see on tv it's just a cool um body and a cool idea just overall an awesome truck it was one of my favorite trucks i know i've said that a lot but majority of these trucks um really made up my childhood because you know i watch monster gym a lot i've been a monster gym fan since i was six or five my first monster gym show is when i was like five or so so i've been a monster gym fan for a long time it's been about a decade so seeing all these trucks still competing it's still awesome um so tell me what you guys think um what trucks that you guys would like to see that are actually retired come out of retirement i know there are plenty of trucks i would like to see so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy i really appreciate you guys watching if you watch through the whole video i appreciate you guys so much if you have not subscribed already i would also appreciate if you subscribed also drop a like and comment if you have any questions or concerns i read and reply to all the comments so thanks for watching once again have a nice day and peace out